Hi, this is Dibya here. Probably you landed to this video because you are facing some of the SMTP connection timeout issue with your PHP mailer. Am I right? Okay, so you are at the right place because I am going to discuss about those problems and their solutions. In fact, there is a very good documentation by Marcus, uh, who is the founder of PHP mailer uh, on his uh, GitHub repository. You can refer to that also. Uh, so it's a very good documented thing. Uh, where you will get all the problems and its solutions or in fact you can refer to stack overflow also where a uh, lot of experts uh, have written their answers and uh, some of them are good verified answers too uh, what i tried to did is uh, i consolidated all these uh, answers into one document so that it will be very helpful for you uh, instead of going at multiple places reading lot of answers uh, and getting the right answer I just documented uh, in one place all the answers because I am a big fan of PHP mailer. Uh, so here is my document. Uh, so I will go through some of the uh, problems and its solutions. So you can try to relate what is the exact problem in which you are currently right now. So if you are getting the SMTP connection timeout, uh, so before going into different problems and its solutions, the first most thing which you should check while uh, making a SMTP connection is whether your port is open or not. Because in most of the cases, uh, I would say in 90% of the cases, if you are on GoDaddy or some of the shared hosting uh, services, uh, your website is on some of the shared hosting services, then port 25, the outgoing port for sending the emails where the uh, SMTP server connection happen is actually being blocked by your hosting provider. So whether it's port 25, 587, 465, these ports are blocked in by default on GoDaddy or in any of the web hosting providers. So you should be first testing whether your port is opened or not. Otherwise, you will be working round and round to find the solution, but you will not get any solutions because your port is ultimately blocked. So in order to find whether your port is blocked or not, there is a command known as telnet. Using telnet, you can find whether the port is open or not. Like here, uh, I have written in my documentation that you can do telnet, pepipost.com. It's a SMTP server and on port 25, you can see whether you are able to make SMTP connection to port 25 of pepipost.com or not then you will get a result if you are getting uh, this uh, connection 220 pepipost.com uh, connection established thing uh, this means the connection is established otherwise you will be getting some error like unable to connect to the remote host and connection will be refused there are other uh, libraries are also there uh, in order to check whether the port is opened or not uh, output is one of the famous uh, not uh, maybe uh, one of the very good and easy to use uh, open source library on GitHub, which you can use to check whether the port is opened or not. So if your port is open, then actually 90% of your like problems are now solved. Uh, now there are some other things are there related to like whether the, you have the right PHP installation or not. Uh, if PHP is installed where the SSL thing is enabled in your php.ini file or not uh, or whether you are using the latest version of php or it's the older version p of php so because depending upon uh, the version of the php there are some ssl related configurations which need to be done in latest version of the phps the php is becoming very stricter in terms of ssl so hence there are some specific configurations which need to be checked whether it's correct or not. So you will get answer to all these in my documentation, the link which I have shared below in the description. So you can see that link and there you will find the solution to all the problems. So if your problem is something different from what I have listed in my documentation, then you can share your comment with the exact problem which you are facing in this YouTube video below in the description or you can also comment in my blog too. I would be happy to answer those questions as soon as possible I can.